when you work with a world machine, sometimes you require output of the color map that you can use it in your next rendering. And world machine provide a wide variety of the different type images you can apply, including you can import some textures. So in this few tutorials, I want to look on different ways how we can create a different type of map generation or color map generations inside the world machine. The one, first what I want to do is just create a simple different color Perlin um, maps. And it's not just only one way creating. The nice things about world machine, you have multiple ways you can create it. This set of tutorials hope will inspire you to look more on those filters, experimenting and creating maybe even way more advanced ways to distribute colors and base it on the terrain shape. So the one what I want to do, it's creating a mix of based colors that you maybe use it as a rocks layout or other things for your base uh, material before you may apply some other ones based on height or erosions or other effect. So let's, um, for that one, we're going and uh, creating a few color generated. So as a basic, you can create as many as you want. I'll just create a three color generation generators. By opening, you notice right here, we have different colors can create it. And this is will be our base. So for example, for this one, I want to create a base, a little bit like ground brown. This is will be our base button. Let's create the next with a little bit more grassy look. And another one will create it a little bit more kind of rocky, like rocks. Okay, so right here we have three different colors. The top one, it will be my very basic. Next, we'll combine with a color. And next, we'll combine with the rocks. To mix them or creating generations for these two ones, I want to use it the Perlin noise. So I'll just create two Perlin noise. And a nice wing to click and select to the mask output. You notice right here, we're instantly creating different look. So let's lock the preview to this and open Perlin noise. And for the grass, actually, but for the scale, I want to bring way down. So we have a kind of nice distribution. And also you can play around with a different type of the rigid type, standard or any other ones type. See which one may work better for you. I'm going back to the standard for this. Okay, and just maybe go more creating a noise like a grass. And just adjust maybe a couple more effects. But overall, when you're done, let's click OK. And this is our base for the grass. So let's go next and we'll set up rocks. So I'm going to create uh, connecting. And for the rocks, below will work very good because it's creating kind of, you can see like a rocky look. So same, we can select and, you know, maybe just add again noise to this. And let's click OK. So right here, we have two maps. Now we want to combine them together. And um, combining, what I want to do, I want to remove some maybe black or inverse, just kind of combine and play, see what will work with this. Of course, for this one, we'll use it, our combiners. Okay, so let's go right here. Okay, and we'll just select one combiner. Okay, to this combiner, our main color, it will be our first solid, so we'll connect. But before we combine a second color, what I want to do, I want to combine with using mask. And by using mask, we want to select out this color. So we're going inside the selector and enable select the color connecting. Inside the select color, we want to select by the value. So notice right here when we start moving, let's keep our file out higher. You can see on a map, we can actually modify 
and if we pass the middle point 5, we can invert selections, so by the value. Right now, I'm just adding maybe around this area, and we'll modify, we'll see how it will work after. Let's connect this to the mask, and we'll select this primary and connecting. Lock this preview. Okay. Also, we want to set a value to the average. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's move all the way to the string. Okay. Right here, you can see we have it already appear this grass overlaid. So now, by selecting target, you can modify and you can preview how much and what effect you want to apply to this grass to mix it. Our fallout will allow us to go with edges. And for example, I want to use a base ground and just add maybe a little bit more on a grass. Again, you can modify maybe just around right here. So you can see we have our base color and we kind of overlay with the grass. The next, I want to apply same things only with the rocks. So I'm going to copy and just paste these two combinations. Let's unlock it. And what I want to do is to connect now our um, effect right here. Grass, and we'll just connect ground. So right at this point, we can preview and you can see same things. You can still apply add rocks a little bit. And in combiner as well, you can mix, add those values. Again, select the color by value. It will be um, adjusting and select if you want inverse or two other ways. But overall, okay, you can preview. You can see how it's already look more interesting than just one single plain color. And now this output as a bitmap, you can use it um, with a masking. You can output um, as a material. For example, we can go bitmap output. And you can output as a height or any other ones. But it won't be just a single color. This is, will be your mix color with the layers. And I found out as a basic maybe layout before you add any additional layers with erosions or uh, material distribution, that is work more naturally. It look much more interesting than just plain solid color. So let's look in the next uh, tutorial how we can come kind of um, manipulating with the masks to output our colors.